There are two different ways to blur a background inside of Photoshop. The first way is to just select the blur tool, which is right here. It might also be hiding underneath sharpen or smudge tool. Uh, but you select that, you can go up here and change the size and the hardness and then scrub away at your image. But I find that to be not as consistent of an effect. So what I like to do is select the object. So I'm gonna go to object selection tool. You can also use quick selection if it's a more complicated object. But I'll just hover over the person. I'm going to click, so the subject is selected. And then I'm gonna click Command J on my Mac or Control J on PC. And that will duplicate a layer of my selection. So I'll do that. As you can see, I have a layer here of my selection. And then what I'm gonna do is select the background here. And then I'm gonna go up to Filter and I'm gonna go to Blur, and then I'm gonna do uh, Gaussian Blur. And now I can set the blur amount. You can actually see that applied here. You can scoot this over. And now I've got this blur that I can use. So I'll do a little bit blurry so it doesn't look too fake. Click OK, and there we go. I've added some artificial blur to this photo. If this was helpful, say thanks by clicking the subscribe button.